What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 January, the 90s box. I believe this is the very last 90s box that I should be receiving. I did cancel my subscription uh, in December, but they had already charged me for January. So I think this is the last box. Fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. This box started off great and then it just kind of has been really bad lately, so... What are you going to do? If for some reason you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Alright, here we go. The first item that we got... Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. The first one that we got is a set of Crazy Bones. It's weird because I like don't remember these, but I kind of do remember these. Some kind of game, although I'm sure I just collected them. You're basically supposed to throw throw these things into the air, and then if it lands standing up, which is called an ace, you get five points. If it lands on its side, you get two points. If it lands face up, you get one point. If it lands face down, you get zero points. Wow, that's kind of fun. I kind of want to play this. I think I might bring this to work and play with my coworker. Does anybody remember these? I feel like I remember these, but I don't know. Maybe I don't. I swear I collected something called Crazy Bones before. Okay, ready? Wait, I don't know. I think that's face up. Face up. One point. Oh! Oh! Face down. I almost got it to stand up. Can you really make this thing land standing up? I, it seems kind of impossible, but that's kind of fun. So it came with two of these crazy bones, and basically you just throw them up in the air and then try to get them to land. I think this red one's just broken. Like, I don't even think he can stand up like the green... Oh, there you go. The green one... Oh, I don't know. I'm obviously not very good at this game. Anyways, okay, so there's a little set of crazy bones. The next item we have is a Marvel Comics product. This is, oh, Band-Aids. So there's four different designs. Oh, I love Band-Aids. That's cool. I think I have, I have Avenger Band-Aids. I don't know. This one looks like it probably is going to come with Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and something else. Oh, I like this. Oh, I wish all Band-Aids did this, where you could see the actual design, because I hate trying to look through the package, because they'd be like, I want Elsa, can I get an Elsa Band-Aid? And I'm like, I, I can't tell if this is Elsa or not. So these are Band-Aids, and they are, you can see all the designs, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and then you have one that has Hulk, Spider-Man, and Iron Man. I love this, these wrappers. Where do you even get band-aids like this? I've never seen these. Huh. Alright, well, I, I actually like this item a lot. Not gonna lie. Next, we got a throwback Happy Meal toy. Each box comes with a different toy. What do you think we're gonna get? Here are some of the options. I think last time I also got something that wasn't even listed on here. I want to say it was Nickelodeon. Let's take a look. Alright, we got a Looney Tunes, a Looney Tunes toy. And this is Babs Bunny, and she's dri she has a car. I think probably when you drive it, this this the little purple discs inside they just spin. Is what's happening there. The packaging was very intense for that one toy. Next, we have more Crazy Bones. These are Crazy Bones sports. See, I feel like I remember these things, but now I'm questioning myself. Of I I wonder if these were things that we got in the candy machines. I feel like they were. Crazy Bones sounds so familiar. I don't remember playing them though. I feel like I would just collect them because that's just my style. Next, we got trading cards from Maverick the movie. I don't. Even, I don't even know what that is. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what Maverick the movie is. Then we got oh, a pack of Ricky Martin photo cards. Okay, the only reason I know what these are is because I had Spice Girl ones that I loved. If this box had Spice Girl ones, I would die. Uh, I had a dream last night that I went to a Spice Girls concert, and it was weird because at one point it was just the three of them, because you know how they have that new group that they kind of sort of made, but then I looked over and then they were all there, and then we were back in the 90s, and it was like crazy. Uh, these are just photo cards. I used to collect these and then tell my friends that I took the pictures of the Spice Girls, like, because they were like literally, what are they, four by six 
um, like pictures, when you get pictures developed. So I used to just take pictures and be like, yeah, I took this picture of them. Because I was one of those kids. Next we have a coin. It's a Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan coin. This is an upper deck coin. It is metal, but it's not like a really fancy metal. It's pretty cheap. I think this is actually old school too. There you go. That's the other side. We have a giant sticky hand. I was obsessed with sticky hands when I was younger. I really enjoyed them. And I love big ones. I don't know if my... The big ones that I got from the candy machines weren't this big, but I loved like trying to grab paper and like fling it to me. Although they leave oil marks, so you have to be careful. Oh, we got a Nickelodeon item, very nice. Ooh, okay. We got a pack of Rugrats uh, Valentine's Day cards. I don't, these from 2001, so they're a bit old. Not technically from the 90s, but technically the Rugrats started in the 90s. So we have a pack, I actually like these, these are cool. Retro item right there, I'm a fan. I love Rugrats. And then the last item we got is a Mighty Mouse comic book. It's from Marvel Comics. It was a dollar from October 1st, and I guess it's issue number one. So there you go. All right, that was all the items in the box. Let's go and do some pricing and recap, shall we? All right, here we go. First item, we have this comic book. This is actually priced fairly, uh, not high online, but I would probably give it around five to six dollars. You might be able to give it a little more, but I would probably say five. Let's give it five at the most. You might be able to get give it a couple more dollars, but you know eBay sometimes a little bit tricky. I love these Band-Aids a lot, actually, a lot, a lot. I really like the quality and I love the packaging. Band-Aids usually cost around three dollars a box. I'd probably give these four dollars. I've never seen these before, so I'm going to have to take a look because I really enjoy those. I know you probably could get these at the dollar store, I'm sure, but uh, it's a licensed Marvel product and I love Band-Aids and I buy Band-Aids all the time so I know how much they cost. Valentine's Day cards, uh, these would probably cost regular price, probably around $5. They're a little bit retro, so I'd probably give it, I think $5 is okay. You might be able to give it $6, but I'm going to say $5. We have this giant sticky hand, I'd probably just give this $2. You might be able to give it three. The Ricky Martin photo cards, I don't even know. Uh, I would probably give these, uh, I don't know. What do you think, like three dollars? If they were Spice Girls, I probably would get ten dollars, but I wasn't the biggest fan of Ricky Martin. He was okay. Michael Jordan coin, I'll go ahead and give that two dollars. Looney Tunes toy, I'm honestly just gonna get one dollar. Although, retro toys do tend to be more valuable, so you might be able to get that a little bit more. These cards, I guess I'm going to give it a buck fifty. Two packs of Crazy Bums. I'll go ahead and give this pack, this one comes with I think three or four. I'm going to give this pack three dollars. I'm going to give this pack two dollars. And then that's it. Uh, I will say that I think I might have undervalued things a little bit, but according to my pricing, this box is worth $28.50. Uh, I think I might have undervalued the, I don't know. I definitely undervalued some things, but not by a whole lot. You probably could add maybe another $5 to this, potentially. This box cost $33.32. We did not hit our value by $4.82. Now, like I said, I did undervalue. You probably could add, you might be able to maybe add a about five dollars extra if you wanted to increase the value of some of these items. Um, if you did that, then this box would technically hit its value, but I'm not super like I I'm not super confident saying that you could definitely add five dollars. I think that's the most you could add. Um, at the end of the day, first of all, I will say this. I'm not gonna lie because I've been very harsh to this box. I actually didn't mind this box. It wasn't bad. It has it's not as bad as it has been in the past. And I actually liked a lot of the items in it. I love the retro comic book. I love Rugrats. So I love the retro uh, Valentine's Day cards. I love the band aids. I love the sticky hand. I actually really like the crazy bones. And then the the coin is cool. And these. Brought me back to my memories of the Spice Girl one, so that made me excited, even though I didn't like the Ricky Martin ones specifically. My least favorite item are the Maverick, the movie cards, and the Looney Tunes. This is from Tiny Tunes. I, I'm sorry, I said Looney Tunes, but I actually didn't... Well, Tiny Tunes was okay. I wasn't a huge Looney Tunes fan, but when I did watch it, I did watch Tiny Tunes. So that was like more of my favorite, but I didn't really like them in general. They were just the only thing that was ever on when I got home from school. Uh, if I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a 3.75 to 5 noobs. It's lacking value. It's lacking 
a lot of things, but I did like the items. I actually potentially might give it a 4, but I'd probably say 3.75 because of the value. The value is lacking there, but I did appreciate the items more than I have been in the past, so I, I'm not going to lie, like, I actually like half of these items, which is kind of surprising me a little bit, but... It's a pretty cool item. I really like the band-aids. I know that seems so strange, but I really enjoy the band-aids and I really like the Valentine's Day cards and I really like the giant sticky hand, which I'm excited to use. So yeah, what are you gonna do? Sometimes I just like weird items. Yeah, so I would say 3.75 out of 5 noobs. If you didn't feel the same way as me, you could easily give this box a 3, potentially even a 2.75, but I actually did like half of the items, so I'm a fan of that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I mean, it's not as bad as it's been. It's still not great, but it, it's not as bad as it's been, right? Is that just me? It might just be me. I just have an infatuation with band-aids and regrets, so it, it could be definitely possibly just be me um, but let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below what was your favorite item what was your least favorite item kind of interested to hear what your thoughts are did anyone else love the band-aids as much as I did I'm very excited to bring these to work I I can't even hide my excitement and remember if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page which is coming up right now thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time bye